Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We are continuing with our lessons of our American history with our presidents. And we're asking ourselves in this present time and era, is Q biblical or political? Completely up to you. Completely up to you. Who you want to follow blindly. Because... All these politicians, even if you have met them and have gone up there and shook their hand and talked to them, you don't know who they are. You do not hang out with them and know their circle and how they travel. You know nothing about, and I'm not saying I do, I know nothing about these politicians. Why would I support somebody I don't know? Okay, right? So it's up to you if you want to follow politics, that's completely your choice. You're allowed to do whatever you want in America. That's the best thing about America versus a communist country. Now, don't think that we're free here in America, but that's a whole other subject for another time. Right now we're talking about our American presidents and the witchcraft that's involved in our government. Yes. Now, let's go ahead and look at our next president that's in line, and that would be Harry S. Truman. Truman, 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 Truman. Oh, what if you put a P there? What? Would that be Trump? Nope, it's Truman. And if we use the initials of Harry S. Truman, we have just gone over our lessons that when we go into the dictionary, the initials of H.S. ironically stand for... Where is it? Uh, where's my notes? Yes. Here is a buried... I know that sounds odd, but yes, HS is an abbreviation for here is buried. And if we use the initials HS, we could read Harry Truman's name as here is buried true man. Maybe right here on earth or right here in politics or right here in the witchcraft. I'm just saying it is a coincidence. No big deal. But let's go ahead and we're going to do something here. I mean, look how crazy that is to Trump. Because we're waiting for the last trumpet. Right? We're waiting for the last trumpet. Now, if we mirror Truman, that would give us N-A-M-U-R-T. Correct? Yes. Not available. Not available. <coughs> Pardon me. But that's not how we're going to break it up. We're going to break it up as N-A-M. Let's go look in the dictionary and see what N-A-M says. And if we do that. There we go. N-A-M right here. There it is. If we go and look at N-A-M. It's a variation of N A A M N A A M Nam. Why are we looking at Nam again? It's Truman backwards. N A M N A M variation of Nam. So let's go over and look at that word. N A A M, which is right here. N A A M right here. Action of taking or seizing attested only in compounds such as land and an action of taking OHG NAMA robbery derivative from the stem of on NAMA or to take more at nimble Early law, early English law, district of Chattels. 
Early English law. Things distrained. So now means the taking and possession of land. The taking and possession of land. Well, good thing that doesn't have a P in his name there because that's what Trump has is a lot of land. Yeah? So the first part of Truman, this is our president. We're just going right down the lines. Truman, here lies true man. Here lies Barry. Here lies buried true man. It's not Trump. I know it's close, but it's not Trump. N-A-M is Rob steal land. Yes, legally. Now, what would the rest of it be? U. What does U stand for? Well, U actually is the acronym for um, uranium. Do you guys know what a uranium is? I don't see it right now. My dictionary, I've got myself a little bit flustered. It looks like, yes, my dictionary is down there. U stands for uranium. And RT could be real time. I'm not saying it is because I think it could probably go a little bit different, a lot deeper. I'm just getting tired at the end of the day, probably, and just slowing down. But if we looked at President Here Lies Buried True Man, one of our last president, or one of our presidents, and mirrored it, it could be Rob and Steel Land, the next would be U, would be uranium. And RT could stand for real time. And right now, in the year 2021, we have a robbery, seizure, land grab for the uranium. And that's in real time, right now. This was part of why there was a military, or not military, a, well, it got that way, a standoff in Oregon a few years back. There were people that took their guns and, uh, and they took siege of a park, a national park here in Oregon. I'm trying to remember some of the keywords in that, uh, but I can't. Uh, but they they had what the FBI there was people shot and killed in this uh, part. What am I what am I trying to remember how it was talked about? But anyways, the news portrayed it a certain way. They arrested a lot of people. Eventually, the people finally did give themselves up, and um, they were arrested and they were put in jail, and they were all released. One of the people that was involved in the uranium, see, the, the news told you something different, but there was a land seizure for uranium in real time right now. And one of the gentlemen that was involved in this that was in a Federal Reserve building telling the federal government to stop stealing our land for the uranium and giving it to the Chinese. He, had, he, he lived in, I believe it was Utah, he crossed borders, uh, state lines, and came into Oregon with his guns and was involved in a federally sieged building, and they held it hostage for weeks at least. They gave up peacefully, rested, went to trial, and they kicked their trial out. They were never, ever, ever charged. Why not? Because it would bring up the, ro the robbery of the land seizure of the uranium. And how do I know that none of them were ever charged? Because one of the gentlemen has gone back to Utah and is running, and I don't know if he's still running or not, but has, was running for mayor of, or even governor of the state. And as a felon, you would never ever be allowed to do that. Therefore, we know for a fact they were never charged by telling the federal government who's boss.